Previously on Starbase <laughs> for breakfast, uh, I gave you guys uh, kind of mixed, kind of mixed impressions. Um, and I'm going to be going on a trip here and I kind of wanted to put more time in, but at the same time, I want to get this video out because I want to make sure that I follow up on my last one, uh, before, you know, before it's too late. So last time I gave you guys mixed impressions because I said that, you know, I wasn't quite sure if this was a game that, uh, that I recommend for a lot of people. And the more I play it, the more I see that some of the game breaking bugs, while they do sometimes suck, um, they are, uh, they're, they're easily just kind of overlooked. And sometimes you lose stuff, it's early access, sometimes you lose stuff and it sucks. Uh, sometimes weird quirks happen and, like, you end up losing some time. For example, I went mining way, way out into space. You can see all these ships, like, basically just AFK here. Abandoned ships. Um, I went mining deep off into space last week and... I ended up losing, um, or not being able to mine anything because the port that I connect to in order to mine anything, uh, stopped working. <laughs> so, oh God, it's just, it's, yeah, there's, there's certain things that happen that for sure, for sure make me just very upset. Um, but you know, I am now, let me see, last time I, I did a video, I was like 16 hours in, and now I am 54.7 hours in. So a, a far cry from some of my uh, comrades in Discord and how far they are. Let me get this ship out. This is my mining ship here. Um, but, but still, oh, a commendable amount of time. Sorry, I thought I was in turtle mode, turtle mode, Jesus. All right, let's go. God. <laughs> let's see, shut down, turn that off. Let's get the batteries cranked up here. There we go. All right, let's just move out here. Jesus, what a mess. <laughs> so I'm just basically moving out of range so my despawn timer turns off here. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of action in this video. If you're watching the streams and you know that for the most part, there's not really a ton of action that occurs in the game. Um... But when there is, it's like, you know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Usually it's chaos. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys, though, is uh, I want to show you guys some of the ships. And I'm going to show you guys some of the community stuff. If you want to get in and play this game yourself, you totally can. But you really, really should look into getting a, some community support. We have a company that we, that we are maintaining right now. We only have, like, maybe 10 or 15 people in it. Uh, let me see. We have tw sorry, 27. Wow. Dang. Uh, so we have... Uh, uh, we have a uh, a group that is just you know people that are I mean there's a lot of people on at any given time, um, and you know like uh, we we've done pretty good with kind of establishing ourselves here. We're, I don't think we're a particularly large company or anything, but uh, but in terms of like looking for a community and looking for help and answers and everything like that, like our our uh, Discord is actually pretty damn packed. Um, and 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 in here again, like this this video is not so much about the game itself. I've covered most of that stuff last time. I'll show you guys some of the different ships and everything, but I want to show you guys the community part because it is MMO, and this is where you're really gonna get um, you're really gonna get an idea for how this game is supposed to operate. You're supposed to join a guild. You're supposed to join a clan. You're supposed to go on these raiding events and everything. And if you've been watching my streams, you've seen that we have been doing these really great, like let's go out and rescue some people uh, who got stranded. Uh, maybe they hit an asteroid or something. Let's go out and uh, and and try to do some um, uh, some mining. Mining, you know, in deep space, but be careful because someone might, you know, find us and everything. Like, so there's, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot of, of, of just exploration. It reminds me of like first getting into World of Warcraft for the first time, or literally any MMO where you're just kind of exploring things. You don't know what to expect, and everybody's kind of new to it. Uh, and yeah, you just have that that feeling of just fresh and it's wide open space, and there's plenty to explore. There is some redundancy. So first off, real quick. People are building, like some of the guys, Dominius, uh, 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 Jordan, they're building uh, ships. Um, just, you know, the shipbuilder. I I am i don't know anything about the shipbuilder yet. I could barely bolt things onto my on my hull if I needed, uh, which I showed you guys in the last episode. But, like, look, like, this is something crazy that, that Jordan's working on right now. Um, I think this looks amazing. Building, building purpose-built ships, right? Like, this has got every single one of these red boxes is a container. And these containers, each one is one inventory slot in your uh, in the game. So let me go back to the game here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If I Let me hop out here, and then I'll connect my ship here. Boop. And then every one of those containers is one of these squares here. 
right? I think, or maybe it's more than one. Actually, I think it's probably more than one. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So you, the more boxes you had, the more storage you have. Um, so purpose-built ships is something that that people are building, which is great. We have fighters, we have um, deep space miners. You can see all the work he's putting into it here. Uh, we have just all kinds of, uh, of different. Yeah, here's some initial initial builds. Um, just all kinds of crazy creations and people are, I think Kitten said it best. He says, this thing that sucks is that you are, you're, you're, you're almost done building something and then you turn around and, and get an idea for something else. And now you got to build something else. Uh, you can see there's, there's a lot of posts you'll see a lot of posts of like different, like, uh, uh, uh um, uh, X, Y, Z. Uh, positions. Let me show you something. This is this is fucking rad. This this makes this gives me hope for the future of this game that people are developing all kinds of cool shit for it. So we use a system called ISAN, right? And ISAN. Um, what if I could give you this without necessarily giving it, giving away our, our our link or anything? Uh, maybe not. But ISAN is. Um, let me see. It is a it is a system that. Uh, copies your or takes you could take your 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 position your position here and you can put it on uh, on a website that will uh, or it'll OCR and grab it if you don't want a separate utility um, oh the, the site's down anyways uh, and then you could tell all your friends and everybody where you where you're at because space is big and you can see I have this installed right here so as I move around even just rotating here I get pretty good pretty good readout where my ship is located uh, this is something that if you're worried about like streamer mode stuff you could just click on it here and just basically clear this and then enter and it goes to streamer mode uh, and this is this is the thing I love about the game man it's like it, it's it is while it's not space engineers friendly where you look at we hit G and then you could go through the menu or whatever and go through your ship systems which I really really like I like being able to have a huge list of every system on the on the ship and interface with it directly from the cockpit uh, but the option for me is to be able to look at something and pull it up and then see all this data. Oops, okay, just not zoom in. Uh, and I see all this data. And if I want to restore that information, I just basically just take all this, uh, select all, delete, and then uh, booting ISAN. Now this is player made. This is a player made mod system that just that that uses in-game sensors and code use the YOLO stri scripting. So it's using this little guy right here to basically sense where I'm at. I don't know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're able to then they're able to give me my positioning um, and I could take that and relay it to people and this is invaluable like what it, you would think oh yeah they should put that in the base game but you know what people are developing this stuff for your game that is sick that is absolutely sick um, I had this so this ship you know last time I think I had a basic 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 ship um, may have been this one actually. This ship has a lot of cool toys. We have uh, uh we have a scanner that'll tell me what's uh, what's on a, a nearby asteroid where I'm pointing at. Uh, I have my laser and ore collector, so I basically just chop this up. I also chopped up a ship with it, which was absolutely stunning visually. I'm actually going to show you a clip of it here. I recorded it for who knows what. Uh, I just wanted to have a copy of it, but just so you guys could see it, like it's it's incredible what I'm able to get uh, what kind of work I'm able to get done here. Just chopping up a ship with a mining laser. Too strong. Too strong. Let's fast forward a little bit. Look at it. It's just, it's just, look at it. Just cut it in half. Just amazing. Just testing. Just testing stuff. Just out sciencing out in deep space just for fun. Um, I found a number of derelict ships just out and about. I'm going to switch ships here. Uh, I showed you guys last time that you have to you you can modify the sensitivity of all of your ship settings here, right? Direct access to all this stuff. Uh, again, space engineers would just have a G key that you could just click on, you know, left, right, y'all, left, right, or roll or whatever, uh, and then you could go through and modify that value, like all of using a slider or something. And this one, you directly interface with that item. Both uh, both cool and also at the same time, like I said, you know, uh, um, can be a little bit troublesome. If you want to reach, like, maybe a transponder or something that's behind your seat, you want to turn her off. Uh, you have to build a button up here. Okay, let's see. Let's go and find a place to park this guy. Get another one. Here we go. Let's go right down here. Total propellant, total rods. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm seriously loving this game now. Um, initially, I was a little hesitant because I didn't want to sound too enthused over or too excited over a game that I wasn't too deep in. At the same time, people were asking me, do you recommend it? Because I play a lot of Space Engineers, I play a lot of MMOs, do you recommend it? And the answer was always, I don't know if I could recommend it, right? And now, now, I still don't know if I can recommend it now. Uh, <laughs> now you have, you have to know what you're getting into. 
right? Let's go ahead and just spawn this. Um, you have to know what you're getting into. And you're getting into a game that has some rough edges. But there's a community here, which is essential for an MMO. Uh, there's developing... Uh, there, there's developing, uh, you know, factions and such. People are trying to own things, own areas of the space. Um, there's stations that are way out there. I mean, there's, there's another player station. I have a couple, there's a couple of player stations uh, that we own. Uh, where did it go? There we go, over here. One of them's, I guess, a phantom one, Clunker said, which is kind of weird. We're trying, what we're trying to do is figure out a way to, to relay uh, um, uh, resources to go up and over the belt which is like really tall we, we took like an out a couple hours trying to go up over the top of the belt but once you're up over the belt you don't have to do too much actual like navigating through um you know a bunch of asteroid fields and everything so we're thinking that might be a way to allow us to re shuttle resources in and out of deep space more quickly uh but there still needs to be more development on um what is the mic be um <clears throat> on uh on stations because stations right now are still pretty like you know they don't really do too much so let's see what the ship is here tops and building a lot of ships jordan's are building a lot of ships everyone's building a lot of ships uh and then they'll add my name to it which is great because then i could get in and um oh cool this is his fighter that he built this is a deep space fighter uh, nice nice i i'm not a ship builder but i happily fly somebody else's work and then customize it to fit my own so yeah, look at this. Whoa, yeah. So for example, this ship is a little too sensitive for me. <laughs> so I would go through, I would find that one. There it is right there. So I would take that and already take this and we'll lower it to like a 12 point, for me 13. Um, I'll say 12.5, we'll mount it up. So then we'll do 13 here, whoops. 13, there we go. So now, there we go. Maybe a little bit faster would be nice. And then we find the rest, and you can very quickly, I mean, look, look, we'll just see, find the lever for this guy. There it is, so we'll just same thing with this one, we'll just do, you know, 15 for now, 150, 115, can't go over that. And then 15, good, and then that cleans that up, the roll's probably insane, yep, sure is. And then do this one too, oh, it's actually pretty, it's pretty low, so it looks like he's looking out, good job, top. I'm trying to make it a little, a little custom, you know? You can also fly using your, your mouse if you'd like. Um, but I'm not flying. Let's see, uh, generator. Um, let's turn this, okay, power, oh, power, oops. All right, the battery's not, uh, not charged. Bev rods, see propellant, stored raw fuel, oh, good. Okay, this should be coming up. There we go, now we're moving. Now we're moving. So he built this thing. Look at he's even had look he even programmed in. Oh look at this. So first off he he, he put in some uh, uh, a way to tell how much time you have with gas, which is just phenomenal. <laughs> he also top also put in see, uh, some some tools here. Eco read me. Uh, <laughs> gener generate point one if bat equals full. Don't use in flight in fight. Fuel save, got it. So use eco mode when you're trying to go on a long flight. Um, <clears throat> see your, your positioning, so he has ice on on this as well. Like, dude, this is crazy how much stuff people can put on these things. And I think if, if this is still, yep, cool. So the fire button, what's cool is that I have, oh, what is this? I uh, see fuels, rods, and back when you're out. <laughs> Carry auto cannon magazine. I fucking love these sticky dots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love this. This is great. Oh, super. Super. Yes, yeah, so this is good for, uh, this is the dog fight one, right? So if you want to get into a fight with somebody, to light them up, right? Start strafing them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put some good strafe thrusters on here. Now, if you get a good, if you get a good spin going, you can maintain a good rotation and just drift around them. It's hard when they have too much forward thrust. That's that's one of the downsides of having too much forward thrust. Is that once you start getting a good, a good strafe, strafe loop in, you start to steer right into the ship. Uh, so it's hard to get a good grip, grip going. Yeah, this is sick. I like it. I like it. Let's go and grab another ship. 
I mean, it's all about the ships. And then you could take these ships, these blueprints, and I guess you could kind of, you could figure out a way to sell them. Uh, you could sell blueprints to people. You could directly trade or inbox them stuff. So if somebody likes your ship, uh, they could technically ask if they could buy the blueprint from you, and then you could sell it to them. It's fucking cool, man. There's there's definitely a market that's that's going to be emerging here in this game um, that's going to allow people to do all kinds of just insane things um, with in terms of like making their own economy and everything. Like I really am looking at this game as a cross between Space Engineers and Eve um, in terms of like how the possibilities of what you can do with it. Uh, Stib Knights, uh, Stib Knight, you know, I really like this thing. It's such a cool little fighter ship. Um, it's impractical, impractical for long distances though, which kind of sucks. So this is, this is a ship that you would probably park at a, at a remote station when you're doing, um, some kind of, um, and this is a store-bought ship because all, all these crazy things, like for example, you get inside and then you turn this on, we see a canopy, there we go, we're in turtle mode, eco prime. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm zooming, uh, notice that I had a, a, a sniper rifle, just buy a long rifle and then you could basically zoom in your seat. Should be part of the base game. I'm a robot, damn it. I should be able to just do that part of the base game. Um, anyway, so this is the kind of ship that you would probably put uh, at a remote station and just allow that to um, allow this to be, you know, kind of maybe a uh, uh, some kind of defense, either a defense or a um, uh, convoy, convoy security. Am I out? He's all, yeah. <laughs> He's all, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, man, like the game is, uh, the game is growing on me a lot. I'm definitely going to be playing it a lot more in the future. I'm going to try to whip up some content for it and grab a bunch of clips, grab a bunch of, uh, I mean, there's just all kinds of shenanigans that happen in this game. And we're talking about Space Bros slash, uh, you know, uh, 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 what is it called? Um, Planetside FNG series that we did like there's there's lots of possibility to get some really great uh, clips out of this and get his cool clip clip compilations um, I'm just trying to like not crash into anything and embarrass myself in front of the family here You know trying to cut it real close. Yeah There we go and We'll do some diving in here And then let me see we're gonna just cut it cut it. There we go let me come around here yeah, fucking rad. So, I mean, like I said, not a lot of action to show you because it takes forever to get out to a place where there's gonna be any action. Um, and at the same time, like, you know, the game is not necessarily just about pirating. Once forward stations become more of a common thing, like people are setting up stations like in deep space, which there are, there are some of that, ha there is some of that happening. Um, that's where you're gonna see um, you know, more of the, of the ship meta start to come out, you know, purpose-built ships, capital ships, stuff like that will be, uh, showing up here, hopefully sometime soon. Um, they have, they have a, uh, a roadmap that's quite, quite robust that they're gonna be working on, so... Yeah, I, I, like I said, like I said in the last video, I am excited about the future of this game. Everything I've seen in the past week since making the last video has shown me that there is just a stupid amount of potential in this. Stupid amounts of potential in this. Um, and really, it's just about working out the bugs. The, bu the, 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 the dev team, speaking of bugs, uh, the dev team is very responsive on Reddit. So I would say, you know, go and join up on the, on the uh, subreddit at least because they're responding to a lot of stuff out there. People will make comments about how auto cannons are too strong. And so well, what can we do about getting the auto cannons, you know, toned down a little bit? Um, and, and the, the devs responded. They say, yeah, we're going to do something about that. And it's cool. It's cool to see the devs so responsive. They're putting out lots of patch updates and everything, probably like once a day or so. There's at least one patch, uh, whether it's a hot fix or a re reboot or something. Uh, it was very rough the first several days. And then they cleaned things up. You know, they cleaned things up. So that way, uh, you know, so we keep oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, this ship is trash then. Um, but yeah, they're, they're doing work. They're, they're doing the Lord's work and they really are trying. So there's possible, there's, there's a lot of potential here. And like I said, you need to have a community for this. Um, you saw already with my discord, um, you know, it's, it, there's tons of people in there that are playing, they're building ships, they're sharing their works and everything. Uh, there's, there's like, there's support chains, you know, people have, uh, uh, you know, jobs that they do that, that they participate. Like for example, top, top, like basically cornered the market on like paint or something. And he's, is making a shitload of money and so he'll pull a lot of money into like making these like the little um ships that i showed you already so he'll make those ships and then he will 
uh, and he gave a ship to like every other person on, on the uh, uh, on, in the company. Now, now, if you join, he's not going to give you a ship. All right, like we're we're part of the OG crew. All right, but you're more than happy to join. Uh, if you start playing, join up, get in the Discord, uh, and you'll be able to you know kind of to to uh, uh, you know get to know some of us and uh, and of course you know uh, explore space and not be completely alone and not be completely alone. So that's it. You'll probably see more content related to Starbase in the future. It is my new favorite game. It does feel like an MMO to me, and I'm get, it's, it's getting it's getting its its hooks in me. It really truly is getting its hooks in me, man. Um, and uh, I got a couple cosmetic upgrades to my my ship, my dude. By the way, looking sexy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. Looking sexy. Uh, yeah, that's my thumbnail right there. <laughs> uh, but. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, aka Phony Starbase. We keep you guys updated on this. Watch my streams, https colon slash slash twitch.tv slash aka Mike B. <laughs> you can't mess that up. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Game's called Starbase. I will see you guys later.